Greetings, and welcome back to the Evening News. Coming next is a movie roundup for this week. Hello, and welcome to this week's movie roundup, with all of the hot news from the world of film. As Jacqueline Christophe once said, there is no medium as eclectic as film at Vietnam Fiora, referring to the intention behind her blockbuster Russian hit, The Red Circle on a White Screen. To begin with, we shall give a brief roundup of this week's cinemas. In another week of chart-topping attendance rates, the adventure thriller film Pravda has continued to astound audiences young and old. Says so one viewer, 19-year-old Yevgeny Samyapin, I saw this film every day of September, and it felt far more like my birthday than the tame pub call of my mates in the Bullingdom Club the month before. Its active, tenacious filming choices, such as the careful placement of dramatic dissolves to pictures of moustaches during climactic scenes, has revolutionized the industry and caused a reformulation of the whole idea of the cliffhanger. Meanwhile, a rising new science fiction film, Iskra, has been drawing in rave reviews from critics, as well as a gradually increasing audience since its debut last Monday. Says the producer, we thought that it would be amazing if you could time travel and, you know, confusing things happened and nothing made sense. So we decided to make a film about a time traveler who dreams about the future while in the past and then realizes that they are actually the dream of another time traveler. We're glad that it went down as well as it did. Critics have praised it for its innovative use of dark red settings and the stunning portrayal of the protagonist meeting with Lenin in 1917. The book Iskra and Philosophy has also been a hit amongst the almost intellectual audience, breaking the previous record set by Cricket and Philosophy in 1307. On the softer side of things, the new romantic comedy film Deutsch Friends was each Jarboucher, pardon my pronunciation, I am French, has been winning the hearts of couples everywhere, with its touching portrayal of the reuniting of two childhood friends on a fr- farm in Vladivostok. The slapstick humor of Morningstar has raised many eyebrows, with its callbacks to the age of 2D filmography, while the more highbrow crowd might enjoy the subtleties of Dirot Fan, based on the recently reissued cult novel by Jorge Bergoglio. We leave you with an interview with the creator of Pravda. <laughs>